Today I'm going to show you how to set up Slippy Netplay. I know what you're thinking, there's already videos on how to do this, but I haven't seen any that encompass all the things I'm going to show you today. The first thing you're going to do is go to slippy.gg and download Slippy. You can choose to install Slippy or you can also install the GameCube adapter drivers along with them. Once Slippy is done installing, you're going to want to create an account. Once you're done creating an account, you're going to want to select your Melee ISO. Now you're going to want to go into your settings and you're going to want to go to Launch Dolphin instead of Launch Melee. Then you can go back and click play. Once Dolphin is open, you're going to want to go to graphics and then select use full screen. You're going to want to make sure you have show FPS and show netplay ping on. You can also go into enhancements and turn up the resolution. You can do 720p or 1080p. Then you're going to want to right click your melee ISO and go to properties. And here you're going to go to gecko codes and select widescreen. Now whenever Slippy loads up, you'll be in full melee widescreen. You can play on ranked, which is random matchmaking. You just select your character and press start. Or you can play direct mode, just select your character and put in the code of who you're playing with. Now you're going to want to go to animelee.xyz and download the Animelee pack. There's three different ones. You can either get just the character remakes, the character remakes with the stage remakes, or the character remakes with the stage remasters. Once that's downloaded, you're just going to want to grab your Melee ISO and drag it into this folder right here. Once you drag it in there, it'll take a few minutes to create the Animele ISO. Now you're going to want to reopen the Slippy Launcher and click play. And then click open and make the new file path for your Animele ISO. You're also going to want to go into Dolphin and right click your Animele ISO and go to set as default ISO. And then you're going to go to config and click start default ISO on launch. Now you're going to want to go into your settings and go to Netplay and click Open Containing Folder. This is going to open the folder that your dolphin is in. Then you're going to find your slippydolphin.exe and right click it and click Create Shortcut. This is going to set up one click Slippy where all you have to do is just click on that shortcut and your game will boot up immediately. And now if you want to be extra you can download this cool Slippy icon. And all you got to do is right click the shortcut and then go to Properties and then go to Change Icon and select it. And now you're all done. Now you have widescreen set up, you have Animele set up, and you have one click Slippy set up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Support Fizzy, support the Animele team. Peace.